All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to another video. What's happening? Uh, so today we're going to be talking about Real Madrid versus Huesca and what's going to be taking place tomorrow. It's going to be taking place at the Bernabeu once again with Zidane's second game in charge. Uh, players are going to be just looking to continue the response that emerged from the first game. So the players are going to be motivated. Uh, it's going to be played at the Bernabeu. We're going to play a Huesca that are really not doing good. They're 20th place in the league. I think they've only got one wins in their last five games. So they're obviously not doing very good. They've only got 22 points in their last 28 La Liga games. So meaning less than just one point per game. Uh, currently, they're, yeah, 22 points. So they need seven points to get out of that relegation zone. So Huesca are going to put um, quite a tough... I would say it, it's not going to be easy versus them. It is going to be quite a tough game, even though everything's in our favor pretty much. We have Zidane. We, we are playing at the Bernabeu. We have the crowd on our side. Westcar 20th place. Um, all these factors, you know, taken uh, taken in, it's still going to be difficult. Westcar are going to be looking to, uh, to get at least a point from this game. So uh, they're going to be, it's, it's not going to be the easiest of game for sure. Um, we can't say every, any game in La Liga is easy, but um, but this one's definitely going to be a harder one. Um, and as as Celta showed last game, you know uh, teams in relegation zones they're will, they're really willing to put up a fight. Um, maybe on with Celta the thing is we it looked good on paper two zero we got a clean sheet and everything, but um, if you really saw the game, I mean we didn't score to like the sixty at something minute, so uh, it does take a bit of time before. Uh, or it did take a bit of time before we did score a goal and it was versus a uh, a Celta de Vigo that was pretty much in relegation zone so um, so it, it, it can be it can prove to be a challenge at times um, and and as I said um, that that last game um, you know it took a while for the first goal there was uh, the pressure was increasing on us to score uh, we finally got at the 60 say 65th minute with Isco coming for us but um but even so, sometimes those those teams are just willing to to put up a fight and to at least get a point from these kinds of games. So uh, the, tomorrow's games kind of prove to be no exception. Um, now, as for the squad, uh, what I saw was Modric, Cruz, Asensio, and Varane was out. Um, I know there's a lot of rumors about Varane and him potentially going out for a move of Real Madrid. Uh, I really don't think it's going to happen. I think he just wants to get a contract renewal. Um, you know, Varane, it, it could just be that he, um, it's just a break, you know, I, I really don't know what it is, but he, he is out of the squad, he's not the only one out of the squad, Asensio's out, Cruz is out, Modric is out, so, um, to be honest, it doesn't really, um, it doesn't really concern or worry me, uh, that Varane's out, I, I really don't think he's gonna leave the club or anything like that, I think, um, Varane being omitted from the squad, yes, it is, perpetu it is perpetuating the rumors that he's gonna be leaving, but, um, I really doubt the the credibility of those uh, rumors. So uh, with that being said, that means that we are going to have a Real Madrid that's a little bit weakened, uh, and it is going to be I would say it is going to be tough. I, maybe maybe it would be nice to have a better midfield. You know, Modric and Cruz out of the midfield. Um, I feel like this game could prove to be a little bit tougher as we're going to have a weaker midfield. Um, so uh, yeah. So we won't have uh, the midfield, and we're miss we're gonna miss Asensio. However, we will have Bale and Benzema. We have Mariano in the starting lineup, um, and we have other other players that that might do the job just fine. As for injuries, Dani Carvajal is still injured. Um, I think he's still gonna be out for another month. Vinicius Jr. is still out, and you have Courtois who's out with some kind of tendonitis, um, which I was surprised because he did play in the international break. Uh, but he but he is apparently out so that leaves with Lucas Zidane uh, being pretty much the replacement for Kaylor Navas um, So yeah, let's let's get into the starting lineup. Who do I think will start for tomorrow's game? So the first player I think will start for tomorrow's game is Navas. I think that's pretty uh, Evident as we saw last game Then in the right back we'll have Odrio Sola since uh, Dani Carvajal is injured at the moment in the center back positions you don't have um Ron, so I think you'll have to go with Sergio Ramos, and you might have to go with Nacho. Um, I, I I don't want to say Jesus Vallejo. Uh, I don't think he's he's fully there. I would be surprised if he would start, but um, but he might just start. We might just see him. Uh, but Nacho would be um, presumably the 
the person who would uh, who would take that spot. Then at the left back position, I think we know who that is, Marcelo. I mean, he's undisputed when when it comes under Zidane, and I think rightly so. Um, I, I I wouldn't say I've been wrong yet. I've been proved wrong yet, but Marcelo, um, he he still shows his God in him. Um, under Solari, I thought he lost the art of pace, but um, we'll just have to see in the coming months, see how he is, see how he's fit. But last game, I would have to say he put up a heck of a performance and one that um, made me rethink my my whole premise of you know Marcelo just not being at the Real Madrid level that I thought he was. So Marcelo's going to be there for sure. As for the midfield, you have. I would, I'm going to have to say a center defensive midfielder with Casemiro at the back. And then in the uh, center midfield positions, I think you'll have Dani Ceballos. And then um, I, I really don't know who else is going to come in. It, it might be your, it might be Valverde. Um, what? Or actually, wait. No, I, I think, no. Let me, let me correct that again. You have Casemiro in the midfield. Then you're going to have Ceballos. And then you're going to have Isco in the midfield. Yes, I forgot about that. So that's going to be your midfield three. Then in the uh, forward line, you're going to have Bale. I think Bale's going to start for sure, without a, chance, without a doubt. Uh, Benzema is going to start for sure. Um, and then on the right, um, I, I really don't know. It's, it's kind of difficult to say, to be honest. Um, it could be Lucas Vasquez, um, but I really don't know at this point. Um, but Zidane's going to be looking to make some changes for sure. So we'll just have to see tomorrow what happens. Um, and I think we're going to win it fairly comfortably. Um, however, if we're going to watch the game, I don't think it's going to be as comfortable as the scoreline suggests, just as last game. So I think it's going to be 3-0. I think we'll win it fairly comfortably, but I think it will be difficult. I think the first goal will come later in the game. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say, really. That's, that's really all there is to be uh, taken into consideration when talking about tomorrow's game. So thank you guys for watching. And stay tuned for tomorrow. I'll put up a match reaction as well. Thank you for watching.